those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Friends, we've gathered here on this glorious Sunday afternoon to bring praise to God and to witness together to our faith as we celebrate the life of Melvin E. Wheatley, Jr., a bishop of our church. We come together in grief acknowledging our human loss and ask that God may grant us grace, that in pain we may find comfort in sorrow, hope, and in death, resurrection. He was a giant of our faith. He was a hero of our hearts. He pushed and pried and popped open doors, no matter who tried to keep him shut. He was husband, father, grandfather, and brother, and uncle, and friend, and colleague, and so much more. He lived his life with grace and love in all these worlds, with his eyes lifted toward the hills, from whence comes his strength. He lived his life sure and complete in his intimate knowledge of a God who loves us all, loves us all beyond any comprehension. Hear these ancient words that have been comfort to God's people for so many generations. As I read them in the King James Version, I invite you to speak along with me if you'd like. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hear these words, excerpts from John chapter 14. As you are able, will you stand for the reading of the gospel? Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. I will not leave you often. I'm coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. I have said these things to you while I'm still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. 